Well, the Leafs come into this game having won all three games on the road trip and having won four straight road games coming into this, it, you know, over the, the road game span. And they come into this game against the, the, the very hurt Tampa Bay Lightning, however, still very good. And they come in. They uh, Antoine Bebo gets the start. Freddie Anderson gets the night off. Kind of shocking just because you know, we have a couple days off before the Centennial Classic. So it's, you know, why it's not like you need the rest. You're going to get it. However, Antoine Bebo got the shot against arguably the tougher team between the two Florida teams as we played in the back-to-backs. And he looked very good. Antoine Bebo looked very good. Two goals on 27 shots, a 926 save percentage. I thought he was great. I thought Bebo was really solid in the net. I think you guys can agree with me on that. You know, there. I mean, he's not Freddie Anderson, guys, so we're not feeling the 100% confidence there yet. He's played two NHL games. You just got to, you know, weigh it out and see what he's got. And we've seen in the first two games, the one in Colorado, even though we lost, he still played very well. And he looked very good in that one. He also looked very good in this one. Some big saves late in the game. Also, in overtime, getting the the, the big penalty uh, drawn against him, even though he kind of had no opportunity. You know, it wasn't like he was embellished or anything. Kind of, Philip like kind of, you know, went <laughs> beeline right through him. So it was going to happen. So let's break this down a little bit. Um, first period, 14 minutes in. So pretty late, pretty late in the first period. I mean, do I, re- do I even really need to say who scores? Because it seems to be happening almost every single game. Austin Matthews with his 18th goal on the year. I mean, this guy's on pace to hit 35 goals this year. Oh, on pace. I'm not saying he's going to do it. But so right now, he has 18 goals assisted by Zach Hyman. He, as we've been saying, has been playing really good of late. And just love the, the, the grindy game that he plays all around. Great stuff from him. Second period rolls along. Tyler Bozak, just under 10 minutes in, scores his seventh of the year. Assisted by James Van Riemsdyk and Nikita Zaitsev. You know, Zaitsev's just putting up some pretty darn good numbers, guys. I think, we're, I think because we only signed him to that one-year contract. I'm not going to say give, give him the contract now, but he's looking pretty good towards a nice little a nice little deal coming up in the offseason. Whether it's with the Leafs or not, I really hope it is with the Leafs. And if he continues this pace, it's before the offseason. But you know what? It's the Leafs. It's a 2-0 lead. They blew it yesterday, and they kind of blew it again today. 12 minutes, you know, into the second period, Brian Boyle scores. Nice nice little goal. Top cheese on uh, on Antoine Bibo when you have 6-6, Brian Boyle coming lugging at you. It's going to be kind of tough to, you know, focus, right? Um, then Andre Palat scores his sixth of the year. Tough one there. I mean, you, you can't really blame uh, Antoine Bibo there. You know, Bibo had a very good night. It was just a couple, uh, what can you do, type of plays. Now, the difference between this team, this Toronto Maple Leafs, this 2016, I'm not going to say 2017 yet because we don't know what the heck that's going to be. The start of the 2016 season, Toronto Maple Leafs, is that, okay, you know what, let's say let's say the last couple months, right? Because the first little bit, I mean, it was like third period leads gone, you lose the game, it's awful. The difference between this team and years past, you give up that two-goal lead, it's over. This team collapses, they crawl into a hole, and the other team finds a way to score two or three more, and you lose by a margin of God knows what. But this team, yes, they gave up those two goals, and yes, it was kind of a late one, 17-38 into the period. So, yeah. It sucked to be tied 2-2 going into the intermission. But this team didn't quit. They came out in the third. Had some good chances. Bebo made some big saves. You know, and it was 11-10 in shots for Tampa in the third period. Fairly even. Therefore, the Leafs pretty much played the same type of game. You know, and then it got to overtime. Right? So they grinded out the point. Things they didn't do in the past. Now they're doing it. And then they get the power play off Phil Pilla just going, making a beeline. I don't know if he tried to get out of the way. It didn't really look like it. Went right into Bebo. Helmut goes flying off. He's okay, though, so that's the main part of it. And then the overtime. In the latter stages of the overtime, Nylander with a shot, kind of deflected by Kadri, stopped by Vasilevsky, but pots in the rebound for the OT winner. Kadri's 13th of the year, assisted by William Nylander. And, oh, oh. Austin Matthews, guys. 
So Austin Matthews had a goal and assist today. <coughs> I wanted to say that all in one go, but it was just like I was too I was dying too much. Austin Matthews has had a 2.9 in his last two games. Four points in two games. Climbing on Patrick Laine's shoulders a little bit. You know, he's one goal behind him there. Uh, Laine, hello. <laughs> I think they're tied in points now. Matthews has 30 points this year, guys, so far. He's doing unbelievable. Just doing unbelievable things. And I think it's only the future is bright for this team. And with the win, even though Boston did win, the Leafs are only three points behind the Bruins for that third divisional spot. I mean, it's ridiculous. And they have, what, three games in hand. It's unbelievable. You know, and then you see Tampa Bay with two games in hand, but with the Leafs win and their loss in overtime to the Leafs, they only got the one point. Therefore, the Leafs are only one point back. Things, things are looking really bright for this Toronto Maple Leafs club. This year and years to come, I think we can all see it. Finally, they're building the right way. And they're playing the right way. And I love it. I love it. This team is just going on the upside. Now, however, they're playing great right now. But they're a young team. They're going to hit another bump. It's just a matter of when. It's scary, but how do they you know, how do they go about that? Do they just collapse? Or do they lose one or two games but then come back with a win or two, right? Is how are they going to cope with the, lo the losses that are going to come eventually. That's, I think, the main question. Let's ride the wins out the best we can because, hey, I'm okay with the two points any day. Speaking of two points, hopefully we get in the next one because it will be played at BMO Field for the Centennial Classic between the Detroit Red Wings and the Toronto Maple Leafs for the Leafs' 100th season. It's going it's, it's, it's to be exciting. Now, I'm excited to watch this one. You know, it's a 3 o'clock uh, puck drop. So it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun game to watch. It's it you know the the Leafs are playing great hockey of late. The Red Wings well are not, and uh, you know the Red Wings after losing Datsuk, I mean I think it's really showing. It's really showing they're a game under five hundred. Mrazek's not playing too well this year, so who knows? But. That is going to do it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hey, hit that like button. I do appreciate that, guys. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, why don't you do that? It just it shows me the love, and I really do appreciate that at all uh, a lot. Comment down below what you guys thought of the game, and, and what's your uh, goal pace for Austin Matthews? What do you guys think? I mean, yes, he's on a great pace right now. He did have that one slump. Will he have another one? What do you think his end total is going to be? Who's your Calder winner? I know it's really early to tell, but... You know, we're like 35 games in, 34, 35 games in. What do you guys think? You know, it's going to be a, it's going to be a big, big question mark, right? Moving forward is who's going to win that trophy. But you know what? I, I don't think it, I don't even think it's in Austin Matthews head. I don't think he even cares as of right now, at least. So let me know what you guys think. And we'll talk to you guys. Well, shortly Raptor game is going to be finishing up. Uh, well, it's, it's in the second half now. So we'll be seeing you guys shortly. Uh, Raptors post game. And Sunday evening, maybe the night, depending on what's going on. Uh, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, uh, you know, I'll, I'll leave. I will leave the link in the description this time. For, totally forgot to last time. It was just an absolute mess trying to upload. <laughs> the, the internet was so slow. Um, but I will leave it down there this time. Follow me up, guys, and I'll, I'll keep you updated on when videos are going to be coming out. And uh, maybe a little tease if there's a Jays video anytime soon because there's a little bit of Jose Bautista news. Mm -hmm. We'll talk to you guys, well, a little bit later on, Raptors edition. And uh, Sunday afternoon, evening, night, depending on how it goes, Leafs edition, Centennial Classic, Leafs, Red Wings. We'll see you guys then.